Over the last 41 years, seven million matchsticks have touched these fingers. I tell people it's the ultimate jigsaw puzzle. And it's the detail that I think sets my work apart. Every time that I do a project, I learn more and different techniques. But any way you want to cut it, it's one stick at a time. And seven million is a lot of matchsticks. I can't stand people that are perfectionists. No, yeah, I bet. Yeah, he knows nothing right. about this, Every project starts in the exact same way, and that is you glue two matchsticks together. I started building models in 1977. You have to keep in mind that the scale was very small. I was buying matches off the grocery shelf, cutting the tips off, making little buildings that measured in inches and had a few hundred matchsticks in them. Having some kind of fun now, huh? As the years went by, I had the opportunity to buy the sticks without the sulfur tips. That allowed me to get bigger, more detail, and it just grew. By the early 1990s, Ripley's Believe It or Not had seen magazine articles on me, and they are the world's, they have the world's largest collection of matchstick models. Over the years, they were interested in much larger models, and that allowed me to take an early retirement from my profession as a career counselor. So the last six years, I've been building full-time for Ripley's Believe It or Not. We started adding bells and whistles, and by that I mean light, sound, motion, and that kind of thing. That's gotten more complex now. Uh, now we've gone to a computer board, and it's a uh, trip of the button. Ripley's has museums worldwide, but the most important thing to me is that we keep a good share of this collection in Iowa. Every time that I do a project, I would learn more. As the years pass, I found out I can crimp the stick with the needle nose pliers and the fibers actually bend rather than break. It's a perfect wood for the type of projects that I do. Every time that I make a different model, I learn something. I research the original capital with its original tiny dome and then you get to the Civil War and why the country was tearing itself apart in a Civil War. They're adding Senate wings and the dome to the United States Capitol. It's fascinating what you learn. The cigar is called a stogie because teamsters that run the Conestoga wagons were famous for always smoking cigars. Therefore, you smoke a stogie. So you're, you're constantly learning things. The types of models I built spans a, a very broad range. The detail has to be spot on and the scale has to be spot on. Every project presents its own challenge. I love the architecture in the cathedrals, the flying buttresses. As the years passed and with use of the internet, I could find all the information I needed to build a scale model of Notre Dame. And I was working full time, so it took two, two full years to construct this, about 3,000 man hours, about 300,000 matchsticks. My heart sank when I saw the tragic fire that burned Notre Dame, but I'm really looking forward to seeing it rebuilt. Different models take different numbers. The largest model I've ever made, which was a steampunk locomotive, had a million sticks in it. So you're looking at about 150 cases of sticks right here. Last year, I went to order matchsticks and I received a reply that this is a discontinued item. Matchsticks are almost a thing of the past. These are just the wooden splints themselves. Before all was said and done, we had the president of the company involved and they told me, order what you want because this will be it. So I placed an order for five million sticks. 
My love for matchsticks is because it allows you to use whatever creativity that, that you want. You take all these hundreds of thousands of identical pieces and see if you can develop what you're visualizing in your mind. And it's that passion for the design and working months and not seeing much and then all of a sudden a piece starts coming together and you go, oh my gosh, I've kind of nailed this. I'm real happy with this. Then I'm off to my next creation. What can I make now? It just takes me on a journey, a 40-year journey now. It's beyond imagination. Too many matchsticks, too little time.